I'm Dan Galpin. Welcome to the Android Game Dev Show, or the Game Show for short. Today, we're going to do a quick recap of what we announced at the 2020 Google for Games Developer Summit. To begin with, we've been investing in tools and products to make it easier to build and optimize games for Android. To help you iterate faster, Android 11, with supported devices, will have ADB incremental, helping you deploy changes orders of magnitude more efficiently. Within Android Studio, we've overhauled the System Trace tool to help you better understand the timing of how your code is executed. We've also added native profiling capabilities when running Android 10 or later, so you can understand how your game allocates memory and more easily find memory leaks. The Android GPU Inspector is in developer preview, allowing you to profile graphics performance bottlenecks through details provided by GPU hardware counters and activity information. We introduced the Android Game Development Extension, allowing you to use existing Visual Studio workflows to create Android games. Finally, we announced the Game Package Registry for Unity, giving you access to Google Play Billing, Android App Bundles, Play Asset Delivery, Play Instant, and Firebase for Games all in one place, with more API support on the way. We're also working to make it easier to get your games to as many devices as possible, helping you to scale your reach. We've launched Play Asset Delivery, building on the App Bundle format to allow you to publish a single artifact that can chunk up to two gigabytes of your game resources into asset packs. These asset packs can be delivered either as part of the initial install, shortly after install, or on demand during gameplay, with up to one gigabyte delivered as part of the initial install. We're previewing native crash symbolication within Android Vitals as an open beta. If you give us your native debug symbols, we will add vital debugging information such as class and function names to your crash report. And we are also previewing a new suite of metrics and insights in Android Vitals powered by the Android Performance Tuner. We're also helping you reach more gamers. We've completed an extensive visual refresh of the Play Store game section to keep things more exciting and gameplay-centric, and we're combining that with a better understanding of what games are and how that relates to the kinds of games people play, along with further prioritizing games with strong technical performance and engaging content to make Google Play a great discovery experience. We launched the Play Pass subscription in the US last year as part of our commitment to help creative indie breakouts and shorter story-based games. Play Pass includes hundreds of apps and games, free of ads and in-app purchases. The Play Games app is now a Google Play instant gameplay destination that attracts millions of weekly users, including a new game announcement each week, and we're now accepting applications to participate. We're rolling out Day 1 auto-install as part of pre-registration, allowing fans the option to auto-install your game the day it becomes available, and not just receive a notification. And we launched the Billing Library 2.0 for Unity developers to make it easy to upgrade. The Play Billing Library 2.0 gives your game some great new monetization abilities, such as expressing discounts in sales, cash purchases at participating retailers, and out-of-game in-app purchases. Finally, we've announced the expansion of Google Play Points, a user rewards program where users earn points from spending across Google Play, trying new apps, and redeeming weekly rewards. It's coming to Taiwan and Hong Kong, with more expansion planned this year. Thanks for your support in continuing to build incredible games, and check out the description for links to these topics and to the full playlist of Summit sessions. I'm Dan Galpin for The Game Show, Please remember to like, subscribe, share, and above all, stay safe.